Hey guys, MMA one on one with Wolfman and tough winner Kelvin Gastelum. How you doing, sir? Good, man. You know, just enjoying the fights out here, uh, supporting my boy Kevin Casey. Well, RFA nine, your tough brother just won a decision. He got the takedowns. He looked pretty good tonight. Yeah, you know, he did good. He, he got the takedowns. He looked, you know, he was he was using uh, his his distance and his jab pretty good, and uh, got the takedowns and, and grinding out the fight. And you know, did just did good enough to, to win the fight. Are there any other uh, fights tonight that stood out uh, to you, or any guys you saw that were maybe borderline getting ready for UFC level? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's plenty of guys that, that I've seen was very impressed with. Um, I don't remember their names, though. Okay. All right, right on. You look great in your fight against your Uriah Hall, uh, especially, you know, going forward with your boxing, I think surprised a lot of people. You just knew that you, you believed in your hands. You could step forward, bite on the mouth guard, especially like three twos, combinations, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been training my boxing for a long time, and I'm really confident in my, in my, uh, my stand-up. The only thing is with him, uh, I had to really reach out mm -hmm. and uh, use those big loopy punches because he was so he you know he had a big advantage on, over yeah. me on the reach. But uh, this next fight coming up, uh, you know I'm going to be fighting guys that are my size, my my length, and uh, you're going to be able to see me uh, really uh, you know come, uh, really use my boxing and open up. So you're dropping a welterweight 170 now? Yeah, I'll be fighting in 170s now. Do you have an opponent set up yet? Uh, I was supposed to fight uh, Paul Thiago um, until he got injured and I had to pull out. So we got a late replacement, Brian Melanson. He's a he's a brawler, man. He's a purple bone jujitsu. Really, just reminds me a lot of me. Um, and, and he's just a scrapper, man. And and uh, but uh, I think you know I'm just a little bit better than his. Do you know what the date or uh, which event that is? It'll be the UFC on Fox Sports One Two in Number Indianapolis. Twenty eighth. Yeah, on the right. 28th. So soon, man. Yeah, soon. So. So how are you finishing up your camp and your cardio, and how many days out are you gonna you gonna stop and peak at? Um, I mean, I'm only two weeks out, man, and um, I'm gonna fly out next Thursday. Um, you know, I feel great. I feel in fantastic, fantastic shape, and uh, my weight's dropping. My weight's good. My weight's on track, and uh, it's gonna be an easy cut to 170s. Now that you're off Ultimate Fighter. Like, um, are you going to train that last week or mostly just cardio? Like, some guys peak eight days out and they stop. Other guys are still working, but you got dangers of, you know, cuts or tweaking a knee or something. Yeah. So how, how do you like to handle that last week right up to the fight? Uh, Mike Dolce is going to be handling my uh, that whole week. Um, but pretty much we're going to be chilling, you know. So how long have you been working with Dolce? Dolce has been working with me this, this whole camp. So, um, you know, we've been... Communicating a lot, and, and he's been guiding me through my workout. I mean, through my uh, through my diet and my, have my you, meal plan. Have you been pretty strict, or are you doing Nutella sandwiches and sneaking <laughs> sticker bars like Rampage? <laughs> nah, man, I've been I've been you know I mean every now and then I, I treat myself you know to something small, but I mean I don't go on binges or anything like that. But um, uh, other than that, I've been I've been doing pretty good with my weight. Uh, so where did you start at, and what are you weighing around now? You think? I started at around 205, maybe. And, you know, I was just mm -hmm. yeah. After my weight, after my fight, I just let go. You know, but uh, right now I'm weighing about 180. One, I'm sorry, 190. Okay. And uh, I'm so probably get down to like 183 or so, and then cut. That's right. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's great. So, uh, what, what can fans expect from you in, in this next fight? You think you're going to have a little more mobility, a little more speed? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm fighting guys that are actually my size, you know, and I feel like uh, I'm going to be able to really open up and, and use my reach and use my power and uh, and um, really open up. You know, I'm, I feel like I'm developing. You're going to really try and mix up the boxing with the wrestling, like yeah. each round. Like, yeah. but let, let's hit the guy a lot the first couple minutes and go for the takedowns yeah. kind of thing and, and just dominate. Definitely. You know, I'm, I'm working on all aspects of my game. I'm, I feel like I'm really developing and, and really elevating as a fighter. So I think you guys are going to see a different uh, side of, or not side of me, but a different uh, style that you guys haven't seen me, uh, me use before. Well, I think it's going to be interesting for fans to watch your your development, your growth, and, and really technical uh, level going higher and higher and higher as you go through the sport. And I, you got a lot of fans. I mean, yeah. you, you know, people can tell you're, you're a dog, you got a lot of heart, and you went forward. And um, is there any websites or your team you want to plug or Twitter or anything like that? Yeah, you can follow me at uh, on Twitter at Kelvin Gastelum or, or go go add me as a friend on Facebook. Yeah, you know? right. right. I think I did. So add me. I think we already did that. All right, guys. So go to uh, go to promomainnow.com for all your information. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Thanks.